Wow! Wow! Hey, Flo, take my picture. Look out, Arturo! The building's falling over! <laughs> you fell for that one! That's why it's called the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Because it leans to one side, as you can see. Neat! According to my cyberpedia, one side of the tower sank into the ground while it was being built more than 800 years ago. You could say it's not rooted very well. <laughs> Speaking of roots, this is a perfect example of words with the same root. What words? Leans and leaning. You're confusing me. I mean, Arturo. Okay, for Arturo, let's take a look at some roots. Set change! No, please don't... Bother. Okay, what do these two words have in common? I know. You just wrote them. Let me rephrase. What letters do they have in common? R-E-A-L. Real. Right, and words with the same root have similar meaning. Unreal and realize are alike? Yeah, right. It's true. What does real mean? Real means real, dear. I don't need help. Real means real. Now what does unreal mean? My cyber reference says un equals not. Right. Unreal means not real. And what does realize mean? The suffix I-Z-E. Loading, loading, ah. It means to make happen. Thus, realize means to make real. No, it doesn't. Realize means to understand. Like I realize I forgot my keys. No, it doesn't. It's like when you realize your dreams. Does not. Does too. I can't possibly learn with all this bickering. So realize and unreal are both words related to the root word real. They even sound similar. Real, unreal, realize. This is really fun. Time for a reality check. Dark Marker's waiting for our email. Itali. I see words with the same root sound alike and mean similar things. Or the complete opposite. Speaking of real, I'm really hungry. Where's the pizza? What pizza? Isn't this the Leaning Tower of Pizza? No, dear. Pizza. Not pizza. Oh. <clears throat> Speaking of disappointment... <laughs> Penny, will you do the honors? Sure, Buzz. Are you kidding? You're not butchering this poem with your less than Academy Award performance. Hey, I do a fine job. Mm-hmm. Move over. Watch and learn. <clears throat> I'm unsinkable. Try to stop me before I take over. Steer clear of main streets that are flooded with water. Did you hear that? Dark Marker is sinking. Fantastico! Ooh, now we can go to Milan. Not so fast, you guys. Dark Marker said unsinkable. Un means not, remember? Not sinkable. Not able to sink. Are you sure that's what he means? Maybe he meant to write unsinkable, like he was thinking. No, see? Unsinkable? Before? Dark Marker's definitely talking about prefixes. Ah, oh, prefixes! The hat and the scarf! Bravo, Flo. Prefixes go before the root. Do I know my accessories are what? Enough with the fashion! Where are we going? It said where the streets are flooded. Forget it. No way, uh-uh, we'll drown. Speaking of drowning, we must see Venice before we go home. They have waterways instead of streets, so you can only get around by boat or gondola. Oh, that would be so delightful! Hang on. Unsinkable? Flooded? Water? You did it, Flo. I know I did, dear. What did I do? You solved it. We're going to Venice. Venice, of course. Oh, Venezia, la bella Venezia. Make sure you draw lots of water, Arturo. Hey, do I tell you how to look things up or type or retrieve messages or... Just draw! 